Hey, what up nation? There's been a subtle change to the Iron 1200. That's what this video is going to be about today. I'm going to show you what I did, how I did it, and I'll give you the tips on what to avoid. But before we do all that, let's roll the intro. I blacked out the forks on the bike. Now I did this almost two weeks ago and I'm pretty pleased with the look of the bike. Uh, it's held up to the conditions. Uh, it's a little dirty, but I wanted to see how it was going to perform. Uh, it's been in the rain so far. Uh, it, it's been a little chilly in the morning time, about 50 something degrees. Uh, and then we had a one afternoon where it was just 92 degrees. So it was you know, cold, hot and wet and this has held up great. There's been no peeling, no, uh, no uh, fraying on the ends, nothing. It looks really, really good. I love the aesthetic it gave to the bike. Uh, I was okay with not doing this part up here. Really, there's not enough surface area there to kind of cover those up, and there are no caps that I could find to cover up that chrome. Now, considering that we have chrome on this side where the push rods are at, and that most of the bolts and whatnot are already silver in color and, and then with the kicks with the uh, foot peg excuse me right there i was okay leaving it like that so it's not too much it's not overbearing uh but i'm just one of those guys i don't like a lot of chrome on the bike i like a bike that's blacked out and this just furthers uh my taste and style is what this does. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to roll some footage of the process. We'll come back, talk about it a little bit more, and wrap this video up.
Okay, so you could see that it was pretty simple. There's not a lot of detail that you have to put into this. I want to say on the Iron 1200 it was 7 inches by 3 and a quarter maybe. Uh, once you measure it out, you'll check it out. The best way to do that, by the way, I use a string, but you're probably going to want to use like a tailor's tape and check out that circumference and then get your distance cut out two patches and just kind of play with it and test it now what I found out was easiest for me I did this in the sunlight heated up the forks and then I also heated up the paper when I did it the first time I did none of that I just started putting it on and trying to stretch it out and smooth it out and it wasn't that easy to work with but once I heated everything up it was simple to work with some of the training videos that I found online showed a lot of people putting tension on the paper first heating it up and then stretching it over the surface area that you're trying to cover when I did it like that it made things way easier so heat it first and then apply it now you want to be careful don't get too much heat going around here if you want to put some um, heat resistant material around your cabling you can do that uh, I just popped off this clip right here and then set this off to the side so um, I didn't really shield these I just worked on the paper and then put it on and then down here towards the bottom I applied some light heat and then smoothed it out as you saw in the video this is not a long video there's not a whole lot of details and a lot of just intricate little procedures that happen with this it's pretty straightforward process you got the roll cut it to size heat it up stretch it over and then put your seams to the back now what I did my seams are back here in the back at about a 45 degree angle so they're kind of hidden away so you're not going to see it when you're looking dead on and you're not going to see it when you're kind of at the side so you'd have to be pretty just really looking at the bike if you want to get back here in the back and see but uh, I've got the seams butted really close together and um, I've got two layers on here by the way just full disclosure two layers on each side I wanted to give it some density and uh, also in case a rock hit it or it got chipped I wanted to see if it was going to go all the way through Man, somebody's rolling I wanted to see if it was going to go all the way through and if it did I'd have another layer on the other side but so far uh, debris has come up but nothing has chipped it so it looks really really good I'm happy with it but that's it that's it in a nutshell easy peasy not a big deal uh, if you've got questions and you want to do this to your iron or your 883 or any motorcycle that you want to cover up the chrome and you got questions feel free to hit me up i'll answer any questions you have to the best of my ability and if i don't have the answer for you i'll see if i can point you in the right direction where you can get one but that's all i've got for now guys if you like this sort of content hit that subscribe button come follow us here in the nation also if you want to know when we post more videos Hit that bell icon for future notifications and updates. Until next time, you guys stay safe. I'll see you in the next ride. Peace.